Hey, I'm Hani from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia. I'm the founder of HKIS Group, and uh, the storm doesn't last forever. Awesome. Take talk. Let's talk. This is the Mitten Shah Show. We've asked the same seven questions to entrepreneurs from all over the world to figure out what makes us tick. Take talk. Let's talk. Welcome everybody. Today we're here with Honey. Honey, uh, where are you from? And how would you explain what your business does to a seven-year-old child? Well, I'm uh, from Saudi Arabia. Uh, my business actually, um, it's in uh, the consulting uh, area, but uh, for a seven-year-old child, we're actually um, uh, always looking at creative and solutions, and these solutions uh, affect uh, human lives uh, regardless of the age. I don't know, uh, not specifically seven years old, but um, we are um, looking always at uh, finding solutions, solving problems uh, in general. So uh, either by uh, enhancing, by de developing, by uh, removing old stuff because you know we're all talking about disruptive changes disruptive technologies disruptive so uh, you can really uh, uh, this will affect every uh, age so you help companies do their homework I help companies do their homework and look for uh, the missing tiles <laughs> okay sweet uh, what got you started on this journey well, I mean, everything has a start, as uh, you just mentioned. Uh, the thing is, um, I'm an engineer by okay. background, mm -hmm. so I was raised to find problems, to detect problems, and try to solve it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it became as a habit. Uh, like everything I see around me, uh, I want to. I enjoy it. But then I like to see how can we improve it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So when you enter a hotel, you said no, maybe they should have this, they should have this in that room, they should automate this. So, so it became... Uh, so the quest of improvement, exactly. you always had this within you. Exactly. Sweet, nice, nice. What keeps you up at night and what makes you jump out of bed in the morning? Uh, a great idea uh, that I think and I believe it will make a very big impact. Right. And I have one of them uh, actually uh, just last week and I'm chasing a guy who can write the code for me for it. So I'm just uh, excited about it as well. Okay. Yeah. So if you can write great code, reach out to Honey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you know now that you wish you knew when you started on this journey? What I know? I wish I knew when I started. Well, uh, I mean, I knew one thing that uh, sleepless nights, <laughs> thinking. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I always say that um, it, it's going to be okay right. at the end. Mm -hmm. So if it's not okay, it's not the end. That's nice. That's nice. Um, <laughs> uh, the sleepless nights probably came from some mistakes that you've made. If you can share some mistakes that others can learn from. Well, I, li I don't like to call it mistakes. That's nice. I always say either uh, win or, or learn. Ah, nice. So, uh, experience, uh, good decisions comes from experience, mm -hmm. and experience comes from bad decisions. Yeah, true, true. So, we learned from the bad experience, so, actually we learned from the bad decisions to gain the experience. Yeah, but share some of the good experiences that you're happy, proud, and uh, satisfied with from your business life. Well, experience that uh, there is no framework to anything. Okay. You can be as close, mm -hmm. but every day is a different day. Yeah. Every day you, you are hit by challenges differently, even yeah. if you are the best planner in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not going to eat. I mean, there is no like uh, a menu mm -hmm. for success in business. Mm -hmm. You just need to uh, navigate through. Right, right. What are some of the points in your business life that you're really happy and proud about? Um, freedom. Okay, nice. Because being an entrepreneur, yeah. uh, if you have time to be free to uh, run uh, more ideas uh, and invest in more companies, and these are really one of the, um, I would say, expand, expanded uh, platform. 
uh, if you're very focused on nitty gritty stuff every day in operations, you're not going to have time to... That's really nice. This. That means in your journey as an entrepreneur, almost every day when you feel this freedom, that's when you're really happy. Exactly. That's nice. Even if you have a bad day yeah. or a bad time, yeah. uh, a storm doesn't last forever. True. Does it? Yeah. No. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, if the Tim Ferriss question. So if you had a billboard and on this billboard you could put on any message you wanted, what would that message be? I just said it. Storm doesn't last forever. So nice. okay. if you had a turbulence for 10 minutes in an airplane, it's yeah. only 10 minutes. Yeah. You have to live with it, yeah. then it will be okay. Nice. So even if you're in business, you have turbulence, uh, you just uh, try to manage it. Cool. And what are some of the po uh, points in your life where EO has made a difference, either in your personal business, family or community life? Well, actually, uh, EO is a community. Uh, you cannot, uh, you cannot be an EO and uh, disconnect for other things. It's a, a way of life. So, being an EO is a, it affects personal and business and uh, and family. It, 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 it's all. I mean, you're living as an EO, so yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I don't have a, like a on and off switch to mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, maybe things are really appreciate more than the others, mm -hmm. but uh, it's it's all around. Yeah. It's 360. Yeah, and the community that you're talking about, so the EO community, together we're making a Lego off-road vehicle. I'll ask you to put on the next step, please. Hold on.